Holiday shopping season looks and feels a lot different this year. The pandemic recession and record unemployment have a lot of people feeling like Scrooge. Tina standing by with a few tips on how not to break the bank. Yeah, we got our financial experts, uh, Jeff Banger. How you doing? I, well, I'm a little hungry for now. I know, me day. too. Me too. All right, so uh, November means, oh, do I have enough money to get the Christmas gifts, holiday gifts for, uh, you know, December? So what should we do? Well, I think uh, there's a few things, you know, uh, first off, if holiday, uh, if the online shopping wasn't popular enough already, right, the pandemic has sure pushed us all to do more shopping there. And the stores have all noticed that they've uh, made all of their sales come earlier into the season and people have already started. But I think the key is to make your list early and then, you know, really in putting a plan in place, it's really the key, especially in the midst of a pandemic when everybody's watching their wallet a little bit more. So start this holiday shopping season by reviewing your current financial situation. How much money do you realistically have to spend on presents and gifts? And then make a list of who you need to buy gifts for and how much you really want to spend. And the other things too, right? You're going to need food and, you know, uh, different other items, decorations. And then when you're shopping, whether it be online or in the store, remember to have your list with you and stick to it. If you need help setting up your budget, I do have a holiday budget worksheet on my website at bangaderfinancial.com. Oh, okay. Very nice. I mean, I guess it depends on how many people you have in the family, who you plan to buy for. I mean, Jeff, I didn't plan on you on my list. I'm sorry. Um, so, well, that will save me 50 bucks, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, and you know, it's kind of funny. A lot of people, you know, so in today's world, right, if we want something, we can have it in the next day or so yeah. on Amazon. So yeah. They are planning on spending a little bit less, but it's because they're not buying from themselves because they already got whatever they want. Right. Right. It is really difficult, too, because, but uh, some people wait for the sales, right? But if you kind of go over your limit, then you're in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, one of the things I think, one of the worst ways that you can pay for your holiday gifts is uh, using a credit card and then not paying it off, right? If you're paying just the minimum on your credit card balance, then you're really going to not only pay the price of the gift, but you're going to be adding the accrued interest as well. So much so, for that you know, sale, right? Go ahead. I said so much for that sale because you're paying the fina finance fees. Yeah, and you, yeah, you paid less and then a whole lot more over time. But you know, if handled responsibly, credit cards can be good. You know, they have the bonus points for airline trips or you know cash back. But don't use those bonus points as an excuse to spend too much either. All right. Well, very good. Thank you so much, Jeff Bangerer. And you're located in the Roseville area, right? Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Good to see you. Take care. We'll be right back.